Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is a lot from a recent eBay haul that I got. Mostly Matchbox heavy equipment trucks and trailers and spare tires. Starting with this Matchbox king size Ford tractor. You're gonna notice they're all king size or super kings and a lot of them are missing parts. That's why they're a good buy on eBay. I get them all together in one and it's just one total shipping price. And keep an eye on any of the missing parts and stay tuned to the end to see what my solution is. Here's a king size jumbo tractor crane. It's a little wonky on the top, but it is functional. It turns, it lifts up and down. The glass is okay, got four wheels on there. You can barely make a Taylor Jumbo Crane on the bottom. When I was a kid, I spent equal time with my little cars on the orange track racing in the living room as I did outside in the sandbox with my bulldozers and graders and plows and cranes. And I still love them today. So I'm kind of excited to get this lot of cars. This is a Ford Transit van. And it's already on the schedule for one of my upcoming builds, but it's back in December. Mid-December the 18th. Look for this one coming out on Maple Leaf Customs. This is a king-size Scammel heavy wreck truck, and it's a duplicate of what I'm currently working on right now, which is the same car that I got six months ago. Different missing parts. <laughs> Not this one, but that's why you get a duplicate. You might need the lights or the horn or the crane or some wheels. And the one that I'm currently uh, in a project with is going to be a second in my series of Mad Max Fury Road builds, the Mack tow truck. And that's coming out on November the 6th. Here's a class combine harvester. I've got lots of farm equipment too. This one has one out of four wheels, and I'm going to have to Google this and see if there are any other missing parts. Looks like there might have been some kind of glass around a cab or a roof. So I'm either going to have to source some parts or just part this one out and use it as add-ons for a Gaslands build or something. Memories of Foggy London. A favorite city of mine where my daughter went to university and I was able to fly over there from Basel to London on EasyJet for pennies. So I've made lots of visits to see West End theater shows and NFL football games at Wembley Stadium and I've ridden my share of double-decker tour buses. Always a treat. This one has a bell on the bottom that is non-functional so I'll have to see if I can get that to ring but everything else looks pretty good. More heavy equipment. Another king size Dodge tractor, and this one is a tipper. So all the gravel or the sand dumps right out the back, and this one is complete. And it looks to be in very good shape other than play worn, loss of paint here and there. And I think this would be good to do a straight restoration on and take it back to the Goodwill store as a gift. Wouldn't you be thrilled as a little boy or girl to get that? looking brand new like Santa would bring it. Mm-hmm. Okay, happy to have that one. If you enjoy this kind of video, I'd like you to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and also look for me on my other social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram where you see some works in progress pics or some behind the scenes stuff. And I try to keep them all up to date for you, the viewers and subscribers, so you'll always know what's coming out and new. Here's a cement mixer, and this should turn as the wheels are rolling, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of surgery on here to get that all worked out. But again, it's complete, and it seems to be in pretty good condition, so I think with a closer inspection I should be able to get that all fixed up, and that'll be a restoration as well. Thank you. 
This is a 1929 Models of Yesteryear Morris Light Van with a Brasso sponsorship on the side. I love these old timers as they're called here in Europe. This one is really in nice condition. Just happened to be in the lot. As was this race car. It's called a Thunderclap. And it's from the Speed Kings collection. Again, I'll have to have a closer look online. It looks like the exhaust system on the right side has been broken off, but maybe not. Certainly needs new paint and decals. And I could probably use those wheels or 3D print a new set of F1 racing tires. I like the looks of this Super Kings Transporter. Although it probably comes from the 60s, it's got a futuristic look to it, in my opinion. And whoever put the decals on was either trying to spell toe and did it wrong, or they wanted to spell the number two and they got it just right. But I'm going to set that there because it looks like it has a matching counterpart here. Also with the same yellow glass, kind of a spaceship feel to it. It's missing the treads from the rear tractor. And this is simply called a Crusader. And it's from a series called Adventure 2000. And these two, I think, would make a great looking matching pair to go on a Gaslands diorama. What do you think? It's already got a mounted functional turret with guns. And they both got the same yellow glass. I think I could weather them and make them look like a pair. Got an assortment of trailers and flatbeds here that are mostly matchbox and all part of the lot. I have a $1 per vehicle maximum bid policy. That's what I enter and anyone outbids me, I'm out. It's a really simple, basic policy. So I don't win very many, but when I do, I sure get a great deal, especially when you consider that they're all shipped together at one cost. Most of my eBay finds are from Germany. I live in Switzerland, but I keep an international mail depot in Germany for international shipments from eBay and Amazon. And it's cheaper for me on customs and import duties. If I have to buy from the UK, it's a little bit more or other European countries and I rarely get anything from the States or Canada because of the international shipping costs. But this was well affordable and inside my range and so really it's a bunch of parts. And here's how I'm going to solve the missing tire problem. This was included and I've opened the bag and gone through it but I certainly haven't counted these. There's got to be 200 assorted tires and hubs and axles inside of here so I'm never going to have to get a replacement again and inside that bag I pulled out all of these side mirrors and rear view mirrors for cars and trucks I've already used a set of these on that same Fury Road Mac that's going to come out in a couple of weeks so it was a really great haul of trucks and tires and extra parts Leave a respectful comment below and let me know which one you'd like to see me work on. And I hope you'll come back again soon and often. I wish you a really great day. It's coffee time.